Hello, Jessica Frost Ballas here with a video for Chibitronics. Today we're continuing our video series, Chibitronics for Paper Crafters, and I'm sharing how to create a light up pop up card with blinking lights. So let's get started. Open up this card and the rest of the message pops up. When you push the flap down to complete the circuit, the LED lights turn on and create blinking stars. To start, I die cut the snowy backdrop die from dark blue cardstock. I know it's supposed to be snow, but to me it just looks like more stars in the distance. I also die cut my sentiment from Finley's ABCs and stars from a few other die sets using gold glitter cardstock. Off camera, I adhere the star panel over gold glitter cardstock and then use my make art station to help me line up my sentiment. I use liquid adhesive to adhere the sentiment and stars and then put it aside to dry completely. And now it's time to create my pop-up mechanism. I start by die cutting the largest pivot piece from white cardstock. Then I die cut the rectangular panel pieces from the same blue cardstock twice and from vellum twice. The pivot piece has a score line running lengthwise and I start by folding along the score line increasing with my bone folder. It also has score lines running through the center circle in an X, and I fold and crease those as well. Now I grab the ends of this piece and fold inward along the X crease to create this little frog shaped piece. Next I fold and crease my first rectangular panel in towards me along the center score line. Then I fold a little tab away from me and crease that as well. I repeat the process for the other three panels. To create my pop-up piece, I rotate one of the rectangular panels around so that the tabs are facing each other. I bring them together and tuck the tabs under. Then I add a piece of removable tape on the back to adhere the panels together temporarily. First I arrange the pieces for my sentiment along the two panels. Once I know where I'm going to place the gold stars, I die cut the shape of the stars from the blue cardstock panels. Once I've die cut all my star shapes, I add adhesive to the tabs of both blue pieces. I remove the adhesive backing and adhere them together. Then I repeat the process to adhere the vellum panels together. I'm using lightweight vellum to build my circuit and I start by placing the blue panel over the vellum. I trace my star outlines and then trim a little off the top and bottom of the vellum so that it will fit nicely behind the blue cardstock. To create my circuit, I take a piece of white cardstock cut to 1 inch by 2 inches and score it in the middle. I adhere it to the bottom left corner of the back of the vellum piece with the fold at the top. This is where I'll place my battery. Next I use a stencil to trace the outline of the gem shaped blinking LEDs over each star. Then I draw a line connecting the bottom point of each gem to the bottom of my battery holder. I draw a line from the top of each gem over to the back of the panel where it continues up and inside the battery holder flap. This gives me a reference point for where I'll place my conductive fabric tape and LED stickers. To build my circuit, I start by applying a little adhesive inside the battery holder where my battery will go. Then I apply a strip of conductive fabric tape starting inside the battery holder and continuing onto the front of the vellum panel connecting the bottom points of each sticker. Thank you. 
Next, I take a scrap of tape and fold it into a loop. I place this inside the battery holder over the line of tape and then place my battery on top, positive side facing up. The loop just helps to hold the battery in place and ensures that it has a good connection to the LED stickers. Then I run a second strip of conductive fabric tape starting inside the battery holder, folding up and over the top of the holder, and then continuing on to the front of the vellum panel. This line of tape connects the top of the battery to the positive top of each LED sticker. I use my stencil to trace the sticker shapes over the tape once more so I know exactly where to place them. And now it's time to stick my LEDs. Nothing happens at first because the positive side of the battery isn't connected to the positive side of the stickers. But when I close the battery holder flap down, the tape touches the positive side of the battery and completes my circuit. This allows my LED stickers to blink on and off. To reinforce each LED sticker, I add little strips of tape to the bottom and top of the stickers running parallel to my long lines of tape. This helps ensure that my stickers won't shift or come unstuck. Next I add little vellum panels behind my die cut stars to soften and diffuse the light. Then I adhere the stars and add the rest of the sentiment pieces. Next, I add adhesive all over the vellum panel, making sure to not cover the LED stickers. Then I carefully adhere the blue piece over the vellum. To create the pop-up mechanism, I start by adding adhesive to both sides of the triangle shape on the pivot piece. Then I take my top folding card base and use a ruler to mark the center of the score line. I open up the pivot piece and remove the adhesive from one triangle. Keeping the uncovered adhesive at the top, I line up the circle in the center of the pivot piece with the dot I drew in the center of the card base. I make sure it's straight and then adhere the top triangle. Then I fold up the pivot piece along the score lines and remove the adhesive from the second triangle. This time, I simply close the card base to adhere the triangle to the bottom half of the card base. And now when you open the card, you can see the pivot arms popping open. There's a little rectangle scored on each arm of the pivot piece. I add adhesive to those rectangles, making sure to not get adhesive anywhere else in the pivot piece. Then I remove the adhesive backing from both rectangles. For my own reference, I mark the center of the top of the pivot piece with a pencil, and then I use the mark to line up the center of the blue panel on top of the pivot piece. Once it's in place, I press the panel down flat, adhering the rectangles to the blue panel. Then carefully close the card, twisting the pop-up mechanism to one side as it closes, you'll be able to feel how the card kind of wants to fold to one side or the other. Because of the battery in the two layers, it doesn't fold close quite as smoothly as it would a one layer piece, but you can coax it into folding flat. And here's your finished card. If you keep the battery flap up, the card won't turn on until you close the flap and press down, which helps to conserve the battery for mailing. I hope you enjoyed this video in the Chibitronics or Paper Crafter series, and stay tuned for a new video next month. Be sure to subscribe to the Chibitronics YouTube channel and follow us on social media for lots of crafty inspiration. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, 
Have an amazing day and happy crafting. Bye.